What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, MCJ, back with another video on Power Automate. This time we are looking at a new feature in Power Automate, currently in preview, called Format by Example. Now a lot of my early videos on Power Automate show you different expressions in Power Automate and you can create some really powerful expressions and use it to uh, manipulate your data or um, transform your data into something that you need to output. Um, that's not always the easiest for a lot of people. I know a lot of people do struggle with different formulas and maybe adding one formula to another formula to make an even bigger formula. So what Microsoft have done is they have tried to break this down into something that is more accessible by all. So the idea is that you can put in some examples of uh, the type of data that you'll get and the type of output that you want and then it will automatically create an expression for you uh, and put that into your flow. So it's a really cool feature, it really breaks down the barriers for a lot of people um, using Power Automate that don't know how to write expressions but still need to get some data out of it. So let's take a look at that today. So I'm in Power Automate, uh, I'm just going to chuck in a manual trigger and in my manual trigger I will add a text field. And in my text field um, I will put in a date, so we'll do um, 2022 uh, 12 23, that's today's date, uh, and we'll call that date. Okay, oh, yeah, date is already being used. Yeah, okay, just sorry, thing date uh, date and tj. Let's do that. Uh, there is a date function inside of uh, inside of manual triggers, which I put out about. Uh, what we'll do is we'll add a new step. And we'll put this into a compose action, but this works in any sort of action that you have in Power Automate. This is just for uh, demoing purposes. Now we'll click into it, and what we'll see is we'll see, I've got the, the experimental editor on at the moment, so what you see if you don't have the experimental on, uh, surrounding might be slightly different. Um, you get all your dynamic content from the previous step, uh, and there's also an expression button here. And then if you click that, there is a format date by expression. If you're still using the old editor, this will just appear at the top of your um, expressions, I believe, or at the top of your direct content. So we click this button and we get a little pop-out. And it says, format data, uh, data by example, so the item you want to change and how the data is returned in the flow, the data transformation will be done using an expression. So we get a list of all the different, um, all the different direct pieces of direct content that we can use and we will choose the date MCJ as that's what I've got there. Then what we'll do is it, it asks us to provide an example. So we say, right, what is the example of what we are putting into this and what is the uh, desired output? So uh, an example of what we put into this is we'll choose maybe last year's date, so 2021 dash uh, 02 dash uh, 28, I don't know, 26, I don't know. Last year wasn't like, yeah. Um, uh, and the design output is uh, 2nd of Feb uh, 2021, uh, uh, something like that. So what we want to do is we want to convert that date to look something like this. Uh, and we can add multiple examples in here if we, if we want to, um, or we can just leave it with just the one example. So once we do that, we'll hit the expression and it will automatically create a expression for you. So this is using a technology called Prose, which is an AI uh, by example um, uh, way to create formulas systematically uh, or programmatically. So you can put in examples and it will automatically do these things for you. This is also available in Power Apps as well. It just, it works in a slightly different way, uh, but still same technology. So we can see the suggested example here. Uh, we're concatting, we're formatting the date. We're parsing the date time, we're taking the trigger body, uh, we're converting it with this M bit with, uh, to months, and then we're converting it to the US format, uh, and then putting an in Feb on the end, and all of these different things. So it's really quite complex, this type of formula. So this is one of the reasons why Microsoft have come up with this uh, process. So let's try, um, we can put an example in here and then hit the test button to see what, what it gives us. So we'll put, um, 20, uh, 20 dash, uh, 03 dash, uh, 25 for instance and hit test result 
and then it says 2nd of Feb 20. Um, so that's not exactly what we were hoping for there. Um, we were kind of hoping that it would figure out what we wanted was like the, the month. So what we can do is we can go back and add in another example. So we'll put um, 2022-05-12 and we'll put uh, 12th of May uh, 22. So again, I'm using the same format that I've got there. So we'll hit the expression and it says unable to generate it. So this is an example of something that it can't figure out that easily. Um, it doesn't know how to generate expression for it. So that's really interesting. Let's do a slightly, um, a slightly easier um, scenario. So instead of having, um, instead of putting these in here, we'll just put um, uh, 26.02 uh, slash 21. And then we'll put uh, 22 slash 05 slash 12. Don't you love live demos? Great. Um, so instead of doing that more complex structure, we'll try and put something that, like this in here instead. Um, and we can put in another example. So we'll choose 20, 20, uh, 20, 20 dash 05 dash. Uh, 10. Hit result, and there we can see it's formatted in that in that format. So we can hit apply now, and if we hit apply, we get this pop up and say you're about to apply a suggested expression. Once applied, suggested expressions can only be edited in the expression editor. So it won't give you this format by example again. You have to manually uh, change this formula yourself for this expression yourself. So. If you want to change this, you need to um, edit the formula, else you need to delete it and then re-go through this whole process. So we'll hit it. And what we can see is we've got this um, this expression that we've edited, that we've copied into here, format the date time, parse it, and then format it in this way here. So we'll hit save, and we can see the format is in there. So what we'll do is we'll save this flow. And we will test it out. So we'll hit test. We'll manually test it. Uh, we'll tell Power Automate we can use that. Um, it's brought through the, the default expression I put in there. So um, the 12th, 23rd of the, uh, 12th, 2022. Hit run flow. Uh, no, it hasn't. It's the, that's the suggested text map. There we go. Put that in. Hit run flow. Runs through and we can see it's formatted like that. So there we go. Um, so as we went through that example, we could see sort of the limitations of the, the prose technology, the, the format by example technology, and we can also see it working. So um, I think that was a useful video, um, getting both those things. So do be aware that there are some limitations to this. You still need to maybe account for certain things when you're trying to create stuff. But for the most part, it will potentially help those users that can't figure out an expression or um, are just not that experienced and just need some help like pointing them in the right direction. Um, you can kind of see that first expression that it made was like really complex and it's trying to add things in. I kind of knew that wasn't going to work when it started adding in the ND feb um, into the expression itself as a concatenated part. So, uh, But it's good to see that it, it can kind of like understand its limitations and um, you can understand its limitations and, and we can uh, work around them. So there are different ways to do things. Um, there are different ways to build formulas. This is showing you one way. Um, it, it's just there to help people more than anything. So what do you guys think? Is this a useful feature? Is this something you'll be using a lot? Is it something that you've used and you've run into problems like, like I did at the start of this video? Um, well, let me know down below in the comments. Um, if you do like this video, if you could like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. And I'll see you next time.